ANC Secretary General Fugile Balula is hosting an engagement with members of the creative industry. Topping the agenda is the Copyright Amendment Bill and the Performance Protection Bill, recently adopted by the National Assembly. Let's listen in as he speaks to the media on the sidelines of the engagement. Good to go. Right, thank you very much, um, Mr. BC. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. And of course, we've come out of that discussion with the Secretary General of the ANC, the ANC Subcommittee on Arts and Culture, and various artists, uh, you know, have actually engaged uh, the, the, the leadership, I beg your pardon, of the ANC. Let's just toss over to the Secretary General of the ANC and the ANC spokesperson, Matlingi. Thank you very much. Uh, there's SG's here. Over to you, SG. Okay, SG, um, so you've made um, the ANC stance very clear that the ANC, on their part, uh, will advise the President to not sign the bill. Uh, of course, artists have raised their un unhappiness on the copyright amendment bill and the performance protection amendment bill, especially on the issue of fair use. Yes, uh, uh, obviously we are we are, we are listening, and the artists have come to us uh, because they trust the ANC as a governing party. Uh, that uh, we see the bill as it stands, it doesn't favour them, and therefore they would like. Uh, the certain things to be addressed and that's what we're doing and we agree with them uh, in terms of uh, they, they've put up a compelling argument and I know the issue will be the bill was passed by ANC parliamentarians and all of that it does happen things get to be passed and they get to be reviewed there's nothing wrong uh, for for ANC to relook into that having been engaged by by the sector so we are saying working together we can do more. This is what it is in action. Another issue um, this, this upcoming week um, is that the ANC or the Electoral Court, I beg your pardon, will be hearing the matter between the ANC and the MK party. And I mean, time and time again, the media has been reporting on the trademark and the names, but we read through your papers and the bones of contention is more technical. So you've contended that the IEC's procedure um, was not followed properly in registering the MK party. Can you just please clarify that for us? It will be clarified in court. Uh, I respect the court. We have gone to court and we raise our case. Follow the court process. And uh, we are putting a very cogent uh, process, uh, pros I mean, uh, argument uh, in relation to the uh, deregistration of the MK party. Uh, this is the first leg. The second one that is coming is the patent. Uh, this MK uh, thing, uh, uh, logo and everything belongs to the ANC and we'll prove that in court and uh, Jacob Zuma and his supporters, they must be ready for engagement on this one. JZ has been the most uh, destructive person to the National Democratic Revolution. I know you can't he has actually put it in danger in many ways. Now he has uh, thrown the last dice. Uh, putting it in a precarious position, mobilizing members of the ANC and everyone else against the movement. That's what he has done. History will remember him uh, for that, um, for having uh, put the ANC in a difficult position as a former president, as a former stalwart of the ANC. And uh, today he says he must not be called by the name Jacob Zuma. I don't know how he must be called, because he's Jacob Zuma. Uh, and uh, the fact that he was comrade is because he was with us and that is a due respect to him his people and uh, his uh, you know uh, chihuahuas call our president uh, with names every day uh, Cyril Ramaphosa a small boy Jacob Zuma must teach manners to his people before he can teach the public teach your family first hold it together before you can teach others good manners and uh, how they must actually behave in the public discourse. Uh, you can't uh, say the rest of society must behave and yet your own backyard doesn't behave properly. They threaten elections, they threaten violence. He doesn't speak to that. He is in state speak as a, from a pulpit of holiness, pulpit of holiness, and talk as if uh, he's the person who must actually be judged by society as a uh, fair and has got good mannerisms and all of that he has brought us to where we are and we are taking it up and that is it we don't mind him calling his party by his name but as long as it involves ANC assets we will challenge it and this is what we are doing
I know you can't preempt the outcomes of the electoral court, but you seem quite confident in your case. Um, we don't go to court without being confident. South Africa and the world knows MK belong to the NC. And uh, what the uh, IEC has done, uh, we don't agree. It will be tested in court. And uh, we are putting up a case in court within the rule of law. And uh, we can win, we can lose. But the fact of the matter is that we can't uh, leave it like that. Uh, we will account to the next conference of the ANC when Jacob Zuma stole assets of the ANC. What did you do as leadership? And uh, we will account that uh, we did something and we fought in the court of law and uh, within the, the prescripts of the rule of law uh, to claim what is rightfully ours, and that's what we are doing. Um, Mr. Balula, um, another bill that was passed on Tuesday is the Electoral um, uh, Matters Amendment Bill, I beg your pardon, and the FF Plus says the a bill is a blatant attempt by the ANC to get its hands on the taxpayers' money. What do you have to say to them? Well, I don't, I don't think so. I think democracy allows that uh, each one must benefit according to their size. It's not one size fits all, and that is what the bill does. I mean, uh, you win more votes, you are in a position of the ALC, you will get the biggest share, and that is what it is. So uh, the complaint really comes from a, a place of bitterness, but democracy is what it is. It's about majority rule. And it's about each uh, one according to their uh, size. SG, thank you so much for your time. And thank you to the members of the ANC's Arts and Culture Subcommittee. Of course, uh, that comes at the backdrop of that engagement with uh, various, uh, uh, this sector, I beg your pardon, of the arts and, uh, arts and culture uh, industry. With that said, it's back to you in studio.